In a kingdom long ago, an old man ruled, and his name was Altan. King Altan was a good king, but he was not trusting of his beautiful wife, Bianca, who ruled the land with him. It came to pass that the king's suspicions of his wife's infidelity were founded in truth. Bianca had been with another man and was now pregnant. Months later, the queen gave birth to twins, first a girl and then a boy. King Altan was sure the girl must be the result of the infidelity and could not let her reign as the future queen of his land. He sent the girl away to another kingdom. She was never to be told of her true identity. The king quickly made a decree that no woman shall ever rule in his kingdom from that day forth, both stripping his wife of her crown and he hoped any chance his daughter may have had to rule. The boy, Donovan, grew into a good prince. He went to war when need be, helped people in the kingdom when need be, and even tried to talk his father out of that notorious decree. Donovan, of course, never knew of his sister, nor the circumstances of their birth. In time, his parents died, and he inherited the throne. The new King Donovan was even more loved than the old King Altan had been who had also been well loved. One day, an angel told the hidden princess, now called Valia, of her rights to the throne of Donovan. She confronted her family and they replied with regret. She forgave their secrecy and left to claim her rightful throne. Valia met with the people of the kingdom and told them the story the angel had told her. They were all taken by her gentle countenance and agreed that this injustice should be righted. Donovan explained that there was a decree that no woman shall ever rule over the kingdom. Although he felt the law was unjust, he saw it as his only hope for keeping the kingdom he had been raised to rule. This turned out to be a poor strategy, for when the people heard that Donovan was clinging to his throne with this unfair law, they turned from him looking to Valia for the future. Donovan was put to death for both wearing the crown of another and for the use of such an unjust law. Men, not women, were from then on seen as suspicious. The people loved their new queen and thought it just for her to decree that no man could ever rule their land again. She had, after all, been discriminated against by a prejudiced man. The kingdom saw years of prosperity during Valia's reign, as they had in the reigns before. Valia eventually married and had children of her own, some of which went on to rule the kingdom, and some of which did not. <laughs>